welcome back to my channel okay so I said I would do a follow-up video on my interlocking versus retwist video and I'm just now getting around to it but this video is so needed because I get these questions all the time and I listen to conversations and I see how people talk about the retwist method and I'm like I don't think you really know what it is. So hopefully this video will clarify a lot of things. So let's get started. So welcome back to all of you that are subscribers. Thank you so much. Welcome back if this is your first time watching or you have watched but you didn't subscribe yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It is so important that you subscribe or that you click the thumbs up when you like the video. It helps my channel out a lot. It's the way that YouTube knows to promote the video. So without your likes and without you subscribing, it makes it really difficult for me to get these videos out to the public. So go ahead and I just appreciate all of you that do your part and just help me promote this video by giving me a quick thumbs up and subscribing if you enjoy the content. Okay, so first and foremost, retwisting, a very common misconception is that retwisting is locking your hair. It is not. It is not locking your hair, and that is why you have something called uh, freeform locks or semi-freeform locks, because your hair will lock on its own. If you leave your hair unattended, it will lock on its own. So people who have free form locks or semi free form locks are people who don't really do retwist. They just leave their hair alone and their hair automatically just will mesh together. Uncombed, undetangled, untamed hair will lock. With that being said, retwist is only for your new growth and it's only for your loose hair. Now let me clarify because new growth means the hair that is growing out your scalp. The new hair that's growing out your scalp, your hair grows every month. Loose hair means if you have locks already, a portion of your hair is locked, right? The strand is already locked. And if you have, if you're somebody who does retwist, you'll have a portion, maybe like an inch or two of loose hair that is not locked. It's not in a barrel yet. It's not into a lock yet. That's what retwisting is for. That new growth that grew out your scalp or that piece, those pieces of hair that have not locked yet. They haven't meshed together yet. So I just wanna point out that retwisting is not for the whole lock. It really is just for your roots. With that being said, retwisting, like I've said in my previous video, it is done on wet hair or damp hair. It is a style, because it was done on wet hair, it's a style that was set, right? Your hair set in that style. So that means if, that means you can do something to unset it. Meaning, if it gets wet, the retwist is coming out at the root. Not the whole lot, just the root. The part that you twist it around, if it gets wet, it's going to come undone. It's gonna untwist itself. So if you're somebody who sweats a lot, if you go swimming, if you don't cover your head in a shower, it's going to come in. If you don't cover your head at night, we sweat at night. So if you're not covering at night and your head is moving around on a pillow or a blanket or whatever, you're making it come undone. A retwist is setting your hair in a style that can be undone. It is not a permanent thing. So that is why most times people, when they get retwist, they like to get a style with it. Whether it's two strand twist, barrel curls, big chunky twist, like something to kind of drag their retwist out, to drag out the look of the retwist. So they want their hair to look neater longer. They might get a style so that they can wear that style for two weeks, then take the style out. And as long as their hair did not get wet or as long as they, they didn't sweat it out, then they might be able to have their roots still looking fresh for another two weeks. But retwists come undone. It is a hair style. While it's telling your strands where to lock, it is a hair style. It is not permanent. So when you get your retwist and you leave the salon or you leave somebody's chair or you leave your own self, you know, when you're feeling fresh and you're feeling good, remember say hairstyle, you have to preserve it because it's not going to last all the way up to your next retwist unless you're doing your retwist constantly. Unless you're somebody doing it constantly, then it might last. So that's why you just want to be mindful that if you have locks like that, that you're always going to have that piece of loose hair until you retwist it and that retwist will come undone if it gets right 
<laughs> if it gets wet, it can come undone. So it is a hairstyle, it's not a permanent thing. And uh, just to point out, just to kind of give you an idea, so think of a retwist as two strand twist, right? If you have natural hair, or even like any hair, and you put it in twist, you put it in a regular two strand twist. When you do that twist, it might be stretched out, it might look longer, blah, 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 blah. But the moment you let it go, it's going. it can come undone. The moment, and that's why we use the clips when we do our retwist so it doesn't come undone. The moment you let a two strand twist go, it also bounces back a little. So like the moment I let it go, it starts to unturn itself a little bit. So at the root, the root sometimes can be puffy. If you get two strand twists, sometimes your roots will be puffy after a while, or sometimes, and I'm talking about on natural hair, your roots might be puffy, it could come undone and they could slip out. Same thing with a retwist on locks. If your hair gets wet, your roots can get puffy because now your product got wet and it's not holding it down anymore. If your hair um, doesn't dry all the way after your retwist, then again, your roots could get puffy. So, so let me go over some products and some things that you need. You can do your retwist with virtually anything. It really is a preference thing. Like, it really is what do you want? Myself, I prefer gel-based products because I love gel because I because gel washes out. Most times it's water-based, which means it will wash out. It's not something that's gonna cause as much buildup. Wax can be used. They have twist and wax. Not a fan of that, but if that's your preference, that's your preference. I'm not a fan because it's easy to get built up with wax and it's easy to get built up with oil. Oil is not water-based and oil and water do not mix. So some people like to do oil, that's a new thing. Okay, fine, but please be careful that you don't get too much buildup and that you're not using too much. Remember, a little bit of oil goes a long way. If you wanted to do your hair with like just regular Ampro gel, you could. You could retwist it like that. It might get flakes, but you could do it. If you wanted to do your hair with just water, you could. All retwisting is, is telling your hair to stay in a certain part. That is it. That is all. Retwisting is saying, you know what? <clears throat> I want all of the hair in this square section right here to form into this lock. Instead of you forming, and when you grow out, I don't want you to form into this one. Now my locks are small, and usually retwists are done are bigger locks, but it's saying, I don't want you into this one. When all the hair in this square grows, I want you to form into this lock. So retwist and says, okay, I'm gonna pull these together so that they will form into this lock. This hair in this square goes in this lock. And all the hair in this square, if you can see my squares, they go in this lock. That's what retwisting is doing. And that's why it is different from semi or free former locks because you're telling your hair how big you want your locks to be essentially as much as you can and you're telling your hair in what area to lock in what lock to join up with there's just so many products you can use it really is based on you and yeah just kind of do your research and see what you, what you like best all right i have a drawer full of um i have a whole cart just next to me i don't think this this is my this is my hair styling cart you can't see maybe i'll show it later but this is my cart, right? And it has drawers. This is my drawer for locking. And of course, the top drawer um, has some locking things in it as well. So as far as retwisting goes, you're gonna need something with the rat tail. You're gonna need some kind of comb with the rat tail. You're gonna need a comb with or with fine enough teeth to do part in. Maybe something like this. I prefer something like this. With the point. Something like this. Anything that's gonna let me clean up your parts as you're going through. You're gonna need clips, especially if they have a lot of hair or thick hair to get things out your way, like big clips for big sections. As I said, this is my whole lock-in um, one of my locking bins, so I have tons of clips. 
tons and I probably probably will buy more. So I like the big ones for locks that are new, like um, starter locks, because I like to put it all down, the whole thing to kind of make them smooth when I'm done retwisting it. And then I have this. Again, I'll probably buy another case. These are needed. These go at, once you twist the lock, then you kind of put them on the hair. Once you twist the lock, then you put it on the hair uh, right underneath the new growth. Or if you're like me, I like to put them all the way down the strings. And is there anything else you really need? And of course, you might want ponytail holders. Maybe you don't want to clip the hair out your way. Maybe you're going to use ponytail holders. So I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of different types of ponytail holders. If you're choosing not to do clips, because that is the thing, right? You can, some people don't like clips, so you might not want to use clips to hold your hair down once you've retwisted it. Then you have the option of doing something like pinning the hair out the way and then two strand twisting it, in which case you may need some rubber bands to go at the end. And um, yeah, you could two strand twist it to keep it out your way. You might need rubber bands for that or clips as you're trying to just keep it out your way. You can do like a, a method that kind of coils the hair around itself where it kind of will sit for you. Now, the most sleekest retwists are gonna come from using clips. So say you have like a special occasion and you really wanna be like your top tippy top best, you'll probably use clips. It's gonna keep your parts the cleanest and keep the clips in as long as possible while it's drying. But if you are just like retwisting your hair and you're not, it's still gonna be nice without clips and it's still gonna look shiny, it's still gonna look neat, but the clips just give it an extra crispiness, like an extra neat look because it's able to kind of keep the hair pins a little bit tighter. So clips um, will give you a more of a neat, I don't wanna say more of a neat, but just like a more crisp look using the clips. If you're doing something fancy, use clips. If not, if it's just your regular every four weeks retwist, if it's just your regular every two weeks, six weeks retwist, you might not need clips, so it's really up to you. All right, and there are two ways you can retwist your hair, and you can also use a combination of both. So one way is to do like I just showed you. Again, my locks are small, so I really wouldn't retwist them. But one way is to do like I showed you, and that is take it, put the product on it, and twist it. And then you would take a clip and you're gonna essentially put the clip right underneath where the new growth is. Now I put mine up prior because I'm a stickler, so I put mine right there. <laughs> and then I put one where the new growth is and say they are starter locks, which means they're a little frizzy. I will go ahead and clip all the way down. I'm gonna clip down all the locks. So say I did this whole section, all of them are getting clipped. It just kind of lets them dry a little more condensed instead of frizzing. So that's how we do for starter locks. Ones that still forming, right? I will put it all the way down the whole section as much as I can get in there. That's just showing you real quick. So, you can twist the root like I did. You also can do what you call palm rolling. I'm gonna take two locks because um, I don't think palm rolling on a small one would be a good idea. But that's when you have the new growth there and it's gonna take your hand like this and that will tighten it up all the way up to the root as well. And again, you would do your clips all the way down. So those are the two ways you can do your retwist. You wanna be careful that whether you're palm rolling or just twisting with your fingers that you're not doing it too tight because any kind of tension on your hair left over time or done repeatedly, it can cause baldness there after a while, can cause soreness there, can cause a receding hairline, so all things like that. So you don't want it to be too tight. So, you know, learn what is comfortable for you, but 
If your hair is feeling like it's too tight, next time ease up. If somebody else is doing it, tell them next time ease up just a little bit. Now, a retwist can be done really whenever you want. The good thing about if you retwist your hair, and it's usually, retwists are usually good for thicker locks, medium sized locks, locks and big locks. But you can do it whenever you want because again, it's just working with your new growth. And if you have hair that is retwisted, you will always have a patch of loose hair by your roots. Always, because retwist does not lock your hair. Retwist is just telling your hair what part to go to and it's keeping your hair uniformed as much as possible. It's keeping the locks separate and you're trying to control the size of your locks and what strands lock together. You're trying to control what strands lock together. You will always have a patch of loose hair right here. Always. So, you may choose to retwist every two weeks just because you like your roots to always look twisted. Fine. You may choose to retwist every six weeks, every eight weeks. You may go a month, two months, two months, three months without retwisting, and you will be perfectly fine as long as your locks are thick enough to handle it. And a new growth or that space of loose hair coming out your head is thick enough and strong enough to hold on to the lock. If you feel like your hair at the root is getting thinner, then you might want to retwist a little more often or you might be retwisting it too tight, so you have to see why that is. So I would never let any locks grow out to the point where it seems like it's hanging on by a thread. You do wanna retwist it before it gets to that point. <laughs> retwist is a sleek way of maintaining your new growth and a sleek way of maintaining your loose hair at the top. So a retwist is just a way to keep your roots slick, to keep your parts clean, to keep your hair neat, while your hair is locking on its own. So while your hair is meshing together on its own, the retwist is a way to keep your hair uniformed, neat, and let it look sleek while it's locking. Because your hair will continue to lock. That is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, please do not forget to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It helps promote my channel. The more thumbs up I get, share the video. The more shares I get, it helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. And, of course, if you have not, subscribe. If you've done all those things, you subscribed, you thumbs up, you may have shared, and you commented. Thank you, thank you so much. If you did at least one, Thank you so much. I appreciate all of your help. I hope to see you in the next one, and I really hope that this video helped out. Until next time, adios.